Straight No Chaser, you hear myself, Schemes, Patrice, and Sharif. You have the composers in the building today. Yes. Welcome. Hey guys. Hello guys. What's happening, lads? Thanks for having us. No problem, you lot packed up our, our studio today. <laughs> 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 yeah, to accommodate a couple of seats. Um, mm-hmm. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Then. How many? Is this the whole group then? Yeah, Just the whole yeah, group. The whole team. I'll add my little brother in. Obviously, the way it is, obviously, them four, they're the main mm. ones, and yeah. I'm the manager. So. Sure. But kind of collectively, so. Mm. Before I jump into it, I'm not usually in an interview, so this guy, mm. this today, guys. Today, guys, gonna be a fun one. Yes, yeah, 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 don't work like that. You don't talk. So, what's each of you guys' roles? Because when I first heard of composers, obviously, I was slightly a bit unsure as to what you guys do. But obviously, I know you're involved in the whole Afro yeah. beats, and but I don't exactly. Would you like to just tell us? Who you exactly. are I don't talk first, didn't you obviously. Yeah, give, 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 oh, give you the names as well. Give us your names as well. I'm Brian, I'm the manager. Mm-hmm. I'm Charlie and I play the keyboard. Mm-hmm. Nana, I play the bass. Steven, I play the drums. David, I play the keys. Okay. Who sings? No singing. That's the thing. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Drum and singing. So in terms of the so shows, how does it happen? You guys go to other artists or artists come to you and then you just a band for them or... Both, it's a bit of both. Yeah, like, yeah. Like we've done a lot of work with many different artists, and mm. then what we do is we accompany them and play all their music with them, and then like do different live renditions of their tracks. So just bringing the music to life, sure. and then sometimes we're booked to perform as ourselves as the mm. artists. That's the difference that we're trying to make, just so people could digest the music a bit differently. You know what I mean? Because right. usually yeah. when people see a band, they're just they just know there's just a band there, but mm. the band don't bring the stuff to life. True. Yeah. That's the difference we're trying to make, especially in our generation. So we're booked to play collectively, do renditions of just tracks that everybody knows. Mm. And yeah, man, just change it up and then just make everyone digest the music, the live element of the music differently. Mm. Yeah. So when artists want to come to you, how does it actually work? So artists, so yeah. some artists I want to book composers, how does it actually work? As an artist performing at a show or Sure, yeah. So say if I wanted... I'm a rapper or yeah. Afrobeat artist. How does it? <clears throat> It'll just be the usual email. Or they'll get my telephone number from someone, mm. and they'll call me up, and they'll be like this, that, this, that. So yeah, it's just really just some of them through relationships. Some mm. of them is we go to them. Some of them they come to us. Yeah. So it's a bit of it's a bit of both, really. It's like so. It's, but it's been really it's been crazy because as you can see, I don't know if you guys have researched, but we've mm. worked with kind of kind of a lot of artists that sure. we set our set our heart mm. to work on mm. from the beginning. So a lot of them has been us going to them, mm. but we had to because one of them. Oh, so you lot are new. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, to. Yeah. We have to because one of them was um, <coughs> Wizkid, right? Mm. So we had to we had to get at him and stuff because sure. he's never gonna find us. Mm. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, and then some yeah. of the other artists come up to us and yeah, man, we just work with them and or well, the guys work with them. Obviously, sure. I just stand by the sideline. Tackle the shots, but yeah, sure. like, but yeah, but that's obviously what like I'm saying. When I say we, because obviously it's a collective sure, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm obviously helping them as well. Mm. So like, that's why I always say we, but. Yeah, they did a thing. I mean, <laughs> the, the um, perception at the moment is that you guys are the band for Fuse ODG. Yeah. So is that is that not the case? Are you just oh, no, a are. band for various artists? Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you're hitting on there, that's yeah, it. You're hitting but on obviously there. everyone knows us for being <coughs> ODG, but it's not just Fuse you play. Yeah, we're not exclusive mm-hmm. to just Fuse. Like, to just Fuse. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys do anything for yourself? So would you go in the studio and make just, I don't know, a, a, a track oh, really? and just yeah. say, that's for me? This is that's, that's that's a pack, for me. Yeah. That's in the pack, man. That's definitely coming. Um, so how's it so going to be? Not, Sorry, go on. No, I'm saying, so you haven't done anything like that yet? You've just been supporting acts? Or no, like there's, there's like... Sounds like you wanted to say no. something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's full of beans. It looks like the microphone. I don't know if I can see the microphone. Ryan, give the nod, man. You've got to give the nod. Go for it. Go for it. There's, you know, there's... So, those that know the composers, the composers didn't start as... A band that plays for people. Sure. You know what I mean? yeah. It started off as a band that was a live band DJ. Mm. So we put mixes <coughs> together and do live arrangements. Then we thought, yo, like it would be cool if we can play for some of these artists. So like Brian was saying, we started reaching out to like oh, okay. Kid and stuff. And then and some of them reached out. And then some of them reached out to yeah, us. Okay. And then it became like someone like Fuse, for example, like mm. we crossed paths with him quite a bit. Sure. Yeah. And then we did some shows where we played his songs and he's like, like, right, like, who's, that? Like, that sounds, like, sounds good. Mm-hmm. So then him being the manager of the new band, like he's going to market, he's going to network as sure. much as he can. So it was like, yo, like, it'd be sick if we could do something together. And I remember like, 
we always used to hound him. I remember one time he was just like, "Don't worry, like, we're gonna work." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't I don't worry. worry. Like, we're going to watch that. Yeah, yeah. So, what material did he listen to? to, to so he, so one track that, like, at the time he had, like, a million pound girl out. Okay. So that song was, yeah, good at time, the time, good time. You know, that was that. Like, 2000, 2000, 2000, yeah, yeah around that yeah. like it was banging. Mm. So, um, we played it at a show, and then he heard it. And you know when like a, like like any artist, like if you're perform, if you're about to perform, mm. and you hear a next act playing your song, you're just like, what's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. So he was like, what are they doing? But then he clocked, oh, they're like doing a mix kind of thing. Oh, okay. So then like you know it just started going on. Then. We're here now with Fuse, like Fuse is a brother now, do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. As well as many other guys that it started off as, I'd love to play with this guy, and now and it's become, you know. Yeah. With um, the Wiz Kid, so you guys did like a, a, a tribute where you mixed like loads of his songs. Exactly, yeah. Was that you guys reaching out to him yeah. through your music? No, it wasn't, you know. Just like, Not intentionally. Because Not initially it was supposed to be a mix of two artists. Yeah. But yeah. one of the other artists that was going to do, it, um, we just couldn't find, the well, it wasn't a matter of that much songs at that point, wasn't it? So. Right. You were saying. 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 You and we all got names. So, so like, so we was the new channel of Dash. Nah. Back nah, on the nah, Dash. Nah, nah, nah. nah. So it's <laughs> literally like, when you wear that... You don't want to embarrass Dash. When you wear that, it's like, it was like, WizKid just, like, <laughs> yeah. they were like, nah, forget it. Like, he got grilled. Like, yeah, well, so WizKid is a top. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, 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 there was, and it was like, we was trying to pick the least common song, but it was like, nah, it's still not. What were you trying to do? He's a bad artist. So it was just, yeah, it was just like a... Back and forth. Like a theme type of thing. It's just like a little something because the first type of video we did for that was Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Chris yeah. Brown's lawyer. We did like a little thing to that. Oh, and then, arrangement to that. And then, it, you know, it just went massive. Like mm -hmm. it went viral. So we was like, all right, let's put the next one out. An Afrobeat kind of, I wouldn't say competition, but you know, that kind of thing. Sure, so mix, mm -hmm. These two artists. Then it was like, Yo, but like, nah, that's not fair. Like, <laughs> the songs are just way yeah. out there. Like, so the guy was basically just not as good as. No, 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 it's no not, not at all. It's just at this time that we're in different lanes. That's, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. The reality yeah. can't really compare their music like that. You know what I'm saying? Different lanes, not yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why did um Dash not just get his own video? This is the thing. This is what I was gonna say when you was asking about all the other stuff. With what we do, there's so many different phases, right? Yeah. And we haven't really even completed the first aspect of it. Yeah. You get me? So that's what Dash is going to definitely get. His, I'm going to look out so I can figure out. No, I'm going to say because it can be anyone in it. But obviously, like, he's going to... Dash. 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 So even to go back to the first question that you was asking in terms of like original music and all the things there, it's all in the pipeline. Yeah, there's things going on in the reality. With what we do, because there's nobody else doing it like we're doing it, we have the liberty to take everything at our own pace. You know what I mean? We can see you guys. Sure, we can see you guys successful. Obviously, you know, we've got the watch shining there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got. I know, I know. Young this guy loves, he loves right. telling the story. Like, <laughs> starts oh, crying, yeah. starts, starts crying. Get the tissues, get the tissues. He starts crying. Yeah. 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 Serious. All right, so this started. You first things know. first. Me and Nana mm -hmm. have been friends from primary school. Right, okay. So we've been close from then. We lost contact and then met up at one location where we did, just decided to just meet up and do music and that. Um, lucky enough, his dad, who's a pastor, on being my old church and so <laughs> he's got a space. Yeah. He's got he's got a space where we rehearse yeah, even up yeah, to now. Yeah. Sure. So through that, you know, Stephen and I was playing in his own lane as well, and so was David doing producing and that for some of the well-known artists. Oh, so now. everyone was kind of doing their own thing to do with the. Mm -hmm. So it was through like mutual friends that we all came together, <coughs> kind of thing, and we just always jammed, but never took it seriously because mm -hmm. we just love music. Sure. And I always say it's just a rehearsal that went too far, you know what I'm saying to you? Mm, so we yeah. kind of kept on doing it and we met Brian, which was Nana's friend from school as well. Mm. And then 
Brian kind of, kind of came with the whole concept and all of us came, together came with the concept of why don't we be a live band DJ where we give the audience the opportunity to feel like the artist mm. and yeah. we play oh, for you. I like right. that. Yeah. So, so they sing along. Right, so they sing along the we play. So right. the things that, that's why we don't need a singer. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Because the, artists, the, the yeah. audience is our artist. Sure. But yeah. you guys you guys had a singer in this didn't you? Yeah, in the first phase of Composers, that was the case. Yeah. But obviously, in where Composers was moving afterwards, it wasn't necessarily needed. We're still calling yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, think, but <laughs> where, we were, where we were trying to focus, at that point, there was no vision. It was just the fact that we can all do it together. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, so yeah. when the vision finally came, it's not that like we kicked anyone out at all. Mm. It's just that everyone understood where they, st- they stood. Where they stood. Mm. Do you get it? So we kind of moved to that new phase. Yeah. Mm. So now we're doing this kind of thing. It's, um, I reckon what I like about it is that it will never get old because mm. you will never ever feel like we're boring because you lot are the artists. I was going to ask you, yeah. how yeah. long do you think this could go on for? Well, no matter how long it goes on for, we are versatile enough to when make it. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> we, I reckon it's as long as we make it, it's as old as we make it. Mm-hmm. We can always change it and make it new. Yeah. Do you get it? But music changes all the time. Yeah. So, and the artists that have been there for 10 years are still there now and they've changed <coughs> with how music has changed. Do you get it? Yeah. So, I don't think that's So, when did it actually start getting, becoming serious? Because, obviously, well, the first time I kind well, of knew yeah. of some of you guys was obviously you guys do raves. I don't know how close connected the raves okay. was to That's recent though, it? Did you come to the boat party? I didn't come no, to the boat know. party, but I've been to others. That's when yeah. 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 so right. That was like the first show. So, oh. <laughs> so how, it all, how it all went, myself and Nana, mm. obviously our birthday is one week apart. Yeah. And um, so obviously in our area, or however you want to call it, like kind of a lot of people know us or whatever. Mm. So we should do something for our birthday <laughs> every December, because that's when our birthday is. And so we did one did one somewhere, like loads of people came, God knows how I keep loads of people came, because I sent like one broadcast. Mm. <laughs> mm. I think some of you here came yeah, as well. Okay, yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was there. there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of you here came, you innit? There? So yeah, so I did that, that was one year. <clears throat> then the next year, we was turning 21. So I was thinking, we was thinking, rah, like, what are we going to do for our 21st? Big so we did another thing in the club in um, the city, I think I popped off, right. like, it just went crazy. Mm. So we did that, and then what hit me, the, one of the DJs was like, raw, like, you, this is what, did you, are you man Ray promoting? I was mm. like, nah, bro, it's my birthday, like, this, this is my God-given day. <laughs> 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 this is my God-given day, innit? But, like, loads of people came. So then I was like to um, Nana, yo, bro, like, we're doing this thing, and we've done things prior to, obviously, all the birthday things, like, we used to do something in um, sixth form, like, some PS3, no, it was Xbox them times. Tournament people used to come, so we always find that like, when we're doing things, people come. People come so we're always yeah, right. thinking, yo, like all the people like you guys are bait, and I was like, yo, <clears throat> if you know how much money I've made out of being bait, <laughs> bro, <laughs> I'll be bait all you like. <laughs> so yeah, so we did that, and then um, did I because the DJ was like, yo, yeah, like yo, like this thing that you did, <laughs> yeah, no, yo, no, because it was so mad. He was like, yo, so the DJ was like, yo, yeah, yeah. and then, um, so then me and I know like, yeah, let's put, like, let's be smart mm. and make this a company. Let's, mm. let's do it proper. So then, um, all that composers were still there lurking around. It wasn't really, it was kind of died down a little bit. And I've always been around composers, mm. but I've always said to myself, like, I'm not going to jump in if we're not ready. Mm. So then we opened up our own entertainment company called Decker's Entertainment. And when we opened that up, then one of the elements was obviously like events mm. and um, project project managing and stuff like that. One of the things was music. But then we thought, obviously, let like, the composers will be on the boat because we did a boat party, mm. perform on the boat, whatever. Performed on the boat, that thing kicked off. Like, I couldn't right. even, like, it kicked off. No, like, literally. Like, people you fell Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kicked off. I heard, I remember I couldn't yeah. get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You get in? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 I remember my friend, my friend, my friend couldn't get in, but. No, so then when we did that, it kicked off. I can't remember what year was that. 2013. 2013, August 29th. August 29th, 2013. Yeah, man. 29th, then. So we did that and then it just kicked off from there and then it just rolled on, rolled on them. Like we eat, we took it more and more serious. Like our names started getting around and all of that. And life kind of changed a little bit in terms of like, just a little bit because your face gets more recognized. Like even though I'm behind, but it's kind of like, obviously I'm here now and stuff like that. So yeah, and then so we're here have, today, innit? You guys so, have fans. We call them supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's exactly. fine. Because I, I, I don't want anyone to feel like we don't have a connection with them. Because sure. yeah. at the end of the day, what we do is the connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 
Hey, you're in jail today. I mean, so obviously you guys are quite young lads. I mean, all below 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did. Back to 10, 25. So I would. Oh, you're back to 10, 25. He's about to 10, 25. I'm 25 later. 10, 27. Okay. So how did your like? How do your parents feel about you guys? I mean, it's a bit different. It's not like you like rappers. You are still. Bro. Come from a church background, like like you said. Music, yeah, music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. No, Dave, you say this one. I mean, everyone's got individual, like everyone's. Yeah, yeah you can all speak everyone's individually. Got yeah, Obviously, I mean, not you. Like you don't do music. You're yeah, different. I think for different. me, yeah, like <laughs> I've always been. Um, no, I know it's the cliche thing to say, but I've always been interested in music from young, mm. and my parents have supported me from young. But I feel. Like ultimately, the African parents. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want you to be a lawyer. <laughs> exactly that. Sorry, the majority African parents, the basis is always fault. education. Mm. If you don't have the education there, they're not really backing music anything else. So, I mean, I've got my I've got my education there, thank God. Mm. But music is my passion. So, when they see me doing this, and you know, it may not be going the way in which they feel it should be going, or, or at the rate it is going. Sometimes you get the yeah. Like, what's happening? You know, where, where's, the, where's the money? You sure, know, where, yeah. where's the, so, I mean, they, they support, but at times you can get the one two word. I think you just gotta reassure them that like, listen, like, <laughs> when, it's, when it's a passion, yeah, it takes good. time. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. I mean, surely they've seen the progression. I mean, they've seen, oh, the seen the definitely. progression. Though. You know what? Definitely seen it. <laughs> they all got mad for me, yeah. When my mum came back from work one day, she was like, all my friends were at work, they were talking about the poses. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, hurrah. So, like, and I remember Rita Ora saying something like that in the interview as well, mm. that her parents didn't know how big what she was doing was mm. until so her so friends came had, to come yeah, and tell yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and the thing with, like, what we're doing, where we are doing everything totally independently like everything that happens with composers or decadence entertainment is literally just the five of us right our own money our own effort our own sweat so there's a lot more sacrifices that we make in order to make things happen and they haven't really seen any examples of this mm. to be able to reference it to know that yeah we are actually on the right track mm. yeah so it's taken a while for them to actually get the picture like yeah you know yeah this this is actually going in a really sure. good direction mm. yeah. but now they're but like now? they're a bit pretty boastful about it because like i remember when, when we're in dubai yeah we're in dubai yeah yeah he's going to dubai and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i think mean, the other day we went to ghana my mom was like, you didn't even tell me, you just turned down, you went, I'm going Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> so, like now, it's a thing where they're proud of us sure, now, because yeah. they've yeah. seen like, yeah. from what we've said, we've stuck to our words, stuck to our guns, mm-hmm. and now, it's international. Like, really? like we can see. More time, they feel like they're in the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah. how, that's how and, a lot and, of and we well. did our show. Um, did they come down to the show? All of our parents came down to the show. Oh, wow. All so of it's our about parents came down to the show. Oh, yeah. 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 They're like a, a conflict of interest managing other artists other than the I composers, mean, assuming that there is. As of yet, I haven't, well, as the Deckers and Team, we haven't started doing other, other artists. Okay. Um, I think that once the whole composers and everything surrounding it is on a smooth sell, yeah. then we can take that into consideration. Me sitting here, I'll probably say, oh, that's probably like a year or two from now. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I mean, right now we've gone and we've got a lot well, myself personally and it's the whole team we've got a lot of connections and a lot of different fields a lot of different in- the industry is a mad one mm. yeah. let me tell you guys it's a mad one that's probably everyone that's come here has told you mm. it's a mad industry so it's like we've got a lot of connection a lot on the right places and stuff and I want to feel confident within myself that I can because it's somebody else's life you never be yeah. taken yeah. up like they trust you so I want to make sure that if I am doing it or the rest of the team because I know when I do do it the rest of the team they're obviously going to be involved because Obviously, it's a whole, it's like it's together, it's like yeah, togetherness, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, so when we everything new said, and then yeah, then we pick up other artists and stuff like that, and then make another another million out of them or something like that. But, um, you guys, um, you um, perform with other artists individually as well, though, don't you? Mm-hmm. As in individually, yeah, 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 yeah. That's something that that's something we do. But when they do step out, it's still composers. Still composers. Yeah. They're still repping composers. So it'll be so and so from the composer. How do you guys feel about that when somebody goes and plays with somebody else? Is that okay with you all, or do you feel like you should just be doing it as a collective? No, no, no. Me, oh God, me, me, me personally, I why I love it is because it shows that other people 
still recognize the unit as well. As yeah, as, a, as, yeah. as, so as an individual and as a group. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Maybe, they, maybe they don't have the facilities to, you know, accompany all four of us. Yeah. But mm. they know that if they choose this one person from the composer, they're going to get good quality. Yeah. Work, you know what yeah. 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 Also, by doing that, the connection spreads. Yeah. So mm. if, someone, okay. if one of us gets flown to America, to go and play for Mr. A and Mr. B. Still rep and compose by the end of the day. Then our connection has gone to America yeah. because of one person, mm. do you get it? Which is kind of happened with, with, obviously with the whole, with the whole session all that really. Mm. It kind of, yeah. it kind of, it's kind of happened. It kind of what helped the whole WizKid thing as well sure. um, <clears throat> with artists that these two went to go and work mm. with and then um, under the same umbrella that WizKid is under. Yeah. So it kind of still helped that whole thing because I mean, like, they yes. didn't know if the people the management of that artist didn't know ah oh, these two they're sensible they're cool they're on job come on time they can play yeah it might have been left a little bit of doubt do you know what mm. i'm saying because to play for an artist such as wicked kid is not you could no one could just get up and do it yeah so, yeah, yeah. Just, but i mean I doesn't doesn't that mean that um the composers as a group lose time like practicing because two of you are out practicing for someone else's song you'd be very surprised how to practice because we've played with each other for so long yeah yeah that not that we don't practice. They don't need practice. We do practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't practice. It's just that it's not, <coughs> it's not, it's not that long. But it's a lot more like clockwork. Like it just it just works. Yeah, it just like, works out. Because we know what we're doing. We know how to do it. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows yeah. their Everyone's place, isn't it? So when it comes to our sets, everyone's gone home to listen to the set, come to rehearsal. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's have, we're going to change this, 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 this. Sure. Go home and sleep. Sure. And when, it, when it comes to the money, so you go out, you slave for <laughs> seven days, come back. Ah uh, yeah, I was supporting the composers. I was representing you guys. So do you share Where's everything my individually? That that would be that would be his own individual. His own individual. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Charles's pocket and not the composers. Well. No, that's his own no, pocket. That's that, that, that would be his own pocket, man. As I said, as, as they said, we're really supportive of each other. Right? So at the end of the day, <laughs> <laughs> he goes and does his thing. We're brothers here. If he feels, you know what? Let me just bless my brothers. Yeah. Ooh, if not, well done. Yeah. 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 Back to work. Yeah. But like, we're we're really blessed in the sense where. Like shows just keep getting thrown at us, mm. and yeah. opportunities yeah. and doors keep getting open. Like, like I'm not gonna lie to you. Between now and the end of the year, yes. if we don't get one more show, we're good, mm. easy. Like our calendar is mad packed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's yeah. a lot of artists who are signed to certain organisations, who, who and these organisations are like trying to bang doors down to mm. get them on their platforms, and we're just getting it because of like that the favour that goes you know what I'm saying yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're just staying yeah. humble and just trying to get to the top you know what I mean sure yeah, yeah. I, mean, I can see you guys are having another night of composers real soon Come on, yeah. what day is that actually happening well <laughs> let's not cause no confusion right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. let's get a date let's get a date nah, so like there's, there's, there hasn't been we haven't set a date for that as of yet um, we've got to be very careful as to when we set a date I don't sure. know if you guys done your research but the last time we did it was all the madness so. yeah obviously you done, got, done your our research yeah. I was I was there <laughs> I was disappointed as well yeah bad you still <laughs> no, 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 no. so for those who went there what happened in the last event Wait, the, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you mean the day that it was supposed to happen? Yeah. Yeah. The day that I had you. You know what we mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, day <laughs> <laughs> the day that it was supposed to happen, literally, we, we were in the venue, setting up, and all of them being there, and then, I'm just cutting a really long story short mm-hmm. here. Yeah. The longest story. <laughs> Police brought a warrant to the venue. Injunction. Yeah, I mean, sorry, an injunction that, um, yeah. <laughs> an injunction that the event could not take place in that venue the f- within the next 40, um, 24 hours, right? Um, bear in mind, this venue was a church. What so, was the exact, actual, what was the actual reason? They were saying something about there being some type of threat against the venue, not necessarily against the people. Right. Like, the, the police, at that given time, they weren't being as transparent with us as we needed them to be. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, that's just what they do. But they said they've intelligent, intelligent. They have some intelligence. And you know when police say intelligence, now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, they, what they actually that. said, they said <clears throat> they've had some intelligence that a South London gang is coming to hijack the event mm-hmm. or some, Ooh. I don't know, terrorism or whatever. Right. But like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sounds serious. Yeah, right. so it was, it was, it was mad. But I think it so was... So who learned that a keyboard and didn't pay off the loan? <laughs> 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 Two keyboards, isn't it? Do you know what? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Because from the first show, the social media was a madness. Yeah. I'm talking about we promoted this thing what, a week? Yeah, a week, yeah, a week yeah. or two. It yeah. was nuts. So this one, we did it a bit longer, but it's the fact that anyone who look, okay, who are these four guys? Yeah. Who mm-hmm. have managed to... Cause so much thing. havoc. 
with no like advert, no TV. No we did, we did radio. Nothing. Yeah, but, but that's, that's just our like the relationship. Yeah, we have yeah. With yeah. The and it wasn't there was like, like even big, big stations radio. and that mm. as well. Like a lot of back in the, like who are these guys who's their background like the young boys, the young I won't say no race, but the young yeah, urban boys in the urban area. In the urban area, obviously, yeah. and the area that it was in has or has not got just a certain level of people together. Yeah. yeah, so and so you know. Which is fair enough, isn't it? It happened and... Oh, not not do you think somebody like purposely went yeah. out to I like, sabotage? Yeah. I yeah. still think so. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. I still think so. Whether, whether so they did it, listen, whether they did it or they didn't, it worked enough. It worked well enough. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. When it got locked off, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. bless you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because of that, yeah, the raising awareness, we, we had a lot of like oh, senior yeah, members yeah, yeah. in the borough who were involved and were very, very, um, how can I say, intrigued. Okay. To see what the murder's yeah. about. Yeah. Bear in mind, it was the last Saturday before Christmas Day. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a football match on that day as well. Yeah. So the police were even claiming that they didn't. Have afterwards, they were saying they didn't have enough police to even manage a situation if anything was to kick off. Because there was so much. People so there. as people so they thought that the best way to prevent something from happening is just to shut off the whole event. Yeah. But as I said before, we fund everything that we do. Mm. Yeah. So a production as big as that, it was a twenty-piece live band and all of that. Yeah. Lighting, sound, all of these things that you're having to pay for everything just to get packed up. So in terms away. of the payback, obviously, what happens that's, when that's, they if they shut it off? What happens with the that's, with the money you guys spend? <laughs> <laughs> everything is everything is to the power of two. <laughs> that's oh. what it is. No, that that one is obviously is. I'm not an idiot. So obviously, mm. that's an illegal issue between myself, relevant people, sure. and all of that stuff because mm. can't do them things. But yeah, so yeah, so it's just a matter of just. Just sorting that out legally and that, but um, <clears throat> you know, come on, finally get the police. Like, what's the chances? Of, you know. You I know mean, that's happened, but I guess you guys obviously, like I said, you guys have a new show. Uh, yeah. I can see Eddie Caddy's hosting it. Yeah. So tell us more about this show. Oh, do you know that show? That show is um um, <clears throat> that's Eddie, Eddie Caddy's show. Right. So yeah. isn't so? It's not. That's not Night with Composers. That no, 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 no. no. But oh, now we know oh, that there is another Night with Composers. Yeah. There is another. Oh, great. Did it? That's quite smart. I slightly think that it's on the lap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, well done. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, so, in terms of artists, who who else are you guys going to be working Because right now, I, I see it as you guys. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, this is going to be a joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for a long time. Like, yo, guys, hold on. Sure, sure. What's you guys have worked with? Like I said, you work with his kid. Mm-hmm. See, so work with the Vito as well. Yeah. So you guys are making a lot of positive movements and mm-hmm. big people in the industry. So who are you working with next? Is there any people that we should be looking forward to? I think how the year's gone, how the year's been drawn out. Or is it more focused on shows, maybe possibly? I think how the year's been drawn out, like and with what's come, there's a lot more focus on the uh, band, mm, mm, yeah, as opposed to because yeah. no, like. This, as I'm saying this, this is more like of a blessing. Like it's not like now, I think we're fortunate enough in a position that we're not reaching out to people how we was before. Oh, because yeah. right, like we can't reach out because reaching out right now just like inconveniences. exactly mm. inconveniences and doubles the workload. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like the shows we've been like, for example, Fuse has a tour in November. Mm. Like, okay, we know that's with how the preparation process goes. That's the whole of November and probably a bit of October gone. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then we know maybe we'll have a show in December like we did last year. That takes, that really and truly should take November and December. But because of Fuse's tour, it can only be in December. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. do you know what I mean? The brain power, Fuse like we're human beings, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. the brain power becomes a lot. And then, mm-hmm. like, I know in the summer period, we're probably at like every single festival you yeah. can think of with Fuse. There's 11 oh, really? festivals. Aside yeah. from yeah. that, wow. then yeah. we're on a couple of festivals as okay. the four of us. What festivals are you guys at? The Fuse of us. The Fuse. Well, in general. Yeah. All yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Name, yeah. just name a few of the big ones. Glastonbury. You guys at Glastonbury? Yeah. Wow. Wireless. Wireless. Yeah, within the part life. Everything. Tea in the part. Like, literally, you name it. You keep forgetting And do you know what it is? How things have worked for us, even if the four of us aren't there, you will see at least one of us there playing for somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how that's how things just always work with And it just always seems to work simultaneously for some strange reason. I don't know why. It just works. <laughs> well, I was going to say, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. In terms of the artist thing that you're mentioning, 
we're not eliminating the option of working with any artists this yeah, year yeah, as well. Yeah. The cool. thing is just yeah. we everything that we've done up until this point in terms of the connections, the type of projects that we're going through, it's all worked organically. Mm. Yeah, like in this in the right time we've met the right people, we've done we've done the right thing. <laughs> yeah, because at the end of the day you, you don't, said he's you know, that you, <laughs> you know when you force certain opportunities, yeah, mm. when they don't go how they have to go, mm. you yeah. shut that door yeah, yeah. 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 But when it works organically because like, don't get twisted. We've mm. knocked on some doors and, like, a couple of doors have been shut in our faces. Shut like, up, bruv. Because <laughs> people don't understand. At first, they didn't. How do you explain what you do? Don't worry, they'll knock on your door. Yeah, no. I don't know. We've been the same platform. We've knocked on a lot of doors and, no, I wouldn't say a lot. But we've you know what's funny, doors. though? What he said is actually happened. What's that? Like, some yeah. people have shut us down. We've been on the same stage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's funny you guys mentioned about working with different artists because some people do label you guys as an Afro beat. Yeah, yeah, type yeah. Band. we really hated that. I mean, yeah, so <laughs> what, so you guys are open to work with, say, anyway, rappers? We've done oh, stuff yeah. with, like, Angel. All right, we've done okay. stuff with Angel. We, okay, we shared the stage with um, Wretch. Crepton Conan. Yes, Crepton Conan. G Fresh. G Fresh. So you were playing the... Yeah, yeah, yeah like, we them, were right? playing for them. Oh, okay. Like, if not collectively, individually, mm. he, he's worked with an um, artist called Kaiser. Uh, I just Layla the nice. way. There's like a whole bunch of you did that piece as well. That piece as well. Don't mean to break. Like like there's there's a whole. You don't get whole list. Or, I mean, Jesus. He started. He started. He H money. That was his okay. G. That was, that was his G. Like, he should no, be do you know what? I can ask because that's how, that's what yeah. I've seen. I've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. for a lot of, so that's, I thought that was you guys laying. And you can but imagine, that's good. when you do one good thing in a particular area, mm. that's what it seems like. It just keeps flourishing, sure, flourishing, yeah. flourishing, yeah. flourishing yeah. even though you're trying to do oh, other things. So, yeah. like I was saying, the phases, we just need to get oh, through the couple before, of things. Like, before, like, Jay-Z and that blue, he was, like, taking him around and stuff. Sure, like, they had the right black top. Back to the truth. <laughs> in all seriousness, the reason why Afrobeats for us has blown the way it has because no one has ever modernized Afrobeats with a live band the way we have. Mm-hmm. We we're all walking church in it. So sure. the Afrobeats is one thing, but the way we have changed it kind of makes people think, okay, right, this song sounds it's original. Yeah, it's like yeah. Okay, I didn't think of that song that way. Hence why when we do fuse stuff, we kind of modernize it in that kind of way where it's like okay afro beats but it can also be played around with mm, do you get yeah. it with r&b it's always been played around with mm. that's what it's there for but the afro beats is why we thrive in that is because we do what we do in other genres for afro beats yeah, yeah. Afro- or maybe because it's your your audience as well because yeah. maybe a lot of your supporters are probably yeah that's probably why it comes to yeah. that no, right now there's since like 2013, 2004, there's just been a really big buzz of Afro. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. And do you know what? Especially in this country, I give a lot of credit to Fuse for that. Mm. Fuse has really brought that to... Fuse might have come to this interview. Also. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I was> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, he, he no, kind of... He's our brother though, man. Him bringing it to the light kind yeah. of thing. And then, like, you've got, like, the other acts in the UK, like, Mr. Silver. Mm. Like, and then... They then started bringing out like the dance routines, which are going global. Everyone, yeah. so everyone like people are people that may not necessarily be African. No, they're, they're, just like, they're just excited over yeah. the dance routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're watching the dance routine. They're like, wait, what song is this? This song is catchy. So they start listening to the song, mm-hmm. and then like now where we are, like let's say two thousand late two thousand and fourteen, two thousand and fifteen, <coughs> in amongst like the university circuit. Like it's literally not. every two weeks, I hear a new Afro piece song. Yeah, yeah. literally, that like, there's a new one all the time. So then it's like, okay, to us, like, listen to that. We're like, all right, cool, let's flip this song up. Mm. Let's flip that song up. So everyone's like, right, like, you man are sick at Afro mm, yeah. kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? But well, we, we love Afro because I think it's like, it's part of us. Yeah, I think it's like, Afro Beats is a new, it's a new, a new genre mm. and it's got a bit of rough edges. Whereas yeah. these lot have come from, um, <clears throat> they've come from playing other urban, genres of yeah, urban music yeah. and have, Gained a lot of experience from there because that in that genre, them genres of music, like the hierarchy, and you can't really just get up and just play them, play them. You got to go through. So I think we try to bring all of that that we've learned from the others, yeah, and yeah, bring it to Afro beats and try yeah. polish up and try take it. You know what I mean? Try I take it, it. Yeah, yeah, try to take. So is it thing? Is it a bit of a thing? It's a sentimental. Would you guys say that you have a? I mean, aside from Afro beats, do you have a, a, like a particular sound? 
Because, like, for me, watching the videos from before, from you guys in, like, church, yeah. um, it sounded more, like, funk-ish. Yeah. So, I think that's where this guy here comes, because yeah. he's, 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 he's the one that... He's the one that... He programmed most of the he's stuff. Quiet. He's quiet. Yeah. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. Yeah. He's dangerous. Yeah. He's dangerous. He gets paid not to speak. Yeah. 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 No, nah, he... Yeah, you go for it, Dean. What, what am I telling him? <laughs> 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 no, nah, yeah, um, I think... Yeah, a lot goes on in my mind. So, um, I think my influence has really come, you're saying funk. It's really, yeah, it's come from like the whole R&B, jazz, gospel. Um, okay. It's just infused. Mm-hmm. Like, going back to um, the past when you're talking about like some of our old stuff. Yeah. A lot of people used to always be like, ah, oh, we can't ever, they can't pinpoint what we're kind of genre from. is. You can't pinpoint the type of genre that we're coming from because it's, it's just so different. Because, like I, like um, Brian said, um, with me um, helping with the program, and we all have our part in terms of that. Like we listen to so much diverse music, you can never pinpoint the sound. You can never pinpoint. I mean, even today when they're asking us what it really is, I can't even really tell you because yeah. it's it's just infused with so many <laughs> alternate <laughs> genres. So, like, yeah. In any way, it does sounds good at the end of the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done, David. So I'll in terms of uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> no, no, no. okay, you're. So in terms of tour life, to so tell us about that, because he's been in Dubai. Whoa! Bad. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you're tour life. In terms of tour life, it's just... It's, no comment. It's funny. <laughs> no, someone, it's, someone, uh, the question you asked me, someone mm. reached out to me and asked me mm. the other day, they were like, they want to go into that, like the whole music touring. industry, sure. like touring and all of that. How is it? Mm. And then yeah, I was just that. like, <laughs> Red. <laughs> no, I was like, I was like, it's two things. Yes, it's fun, mm. but it's very dependent upon the industry you're working. When I say industry, like the genre you're kind of working in, because aside from that, in general, like let's say, let's say, okay, let's say Fuse for example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of someone else, but he's a really like he has a massive like a really big crew mm-hmm. do you know what I mean like even if it was just us like this is still a lot to walk with do you know what I mean so there's us he's got like the BVs his management lighting guys so there's a lot of people and there's a lot of different personalities and you have to basically live with these people for, for like two weeks, two weeks. sometimes oh, yeah do you know what I mean because sure. sometimes like like let's take the last tour we did was literally okay seven days back to back from like 10am to 10pm you're rehearsing and then you're meeting up again on Monday to go out on tour for like another ten days. Mm. And then on that tour, you're maybe in one was in Bristol, like on a day off. Mm. Who do I know in Bristol? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah, anyone yeah, in Bristol. Sure. I'm stuck with these guys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No disrespect, but yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm stuck. yeah. So do you know what I mean? Like it's there's a lot of sometimes there's a lot of personality clashes and you yeah. just gotta remember, yeah, cool, all right, cool. Let me keep saying because sure. this is this is a job at the end of the mm. day. Yeah. 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 And then there's also like for someone that might be new to it, like so much like so you much. can lose yourself so quickly, yeah. so so yeah. quickly. Yeah. Ever so quickly. Have any of you ever lost yourself? No. No boy. That the truth. Right, who's no, 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 the diva? Yeah, the diva. Tell us who's the diva. I don't even want to know where the diva is. I just want to see because I think I know who the diva is. Because two things for that. I just really want to know. Too. When I say tour life, yeah. you, you, you was here drunk. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to understand where you guys are coming from. Like, yeah. obviously, in terms of, I say, I say black and white. Those who go there for that, sure. get that. Those who mm. don't go there for that, don't, don't get, get that. that. Charles, yeah. Job. <laughs> 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 Charles Job. Charles Job. But the thing is, this tour is what you make it. You need to be in the middle. Tour is what you make it. For us, for me personally, tour. I love to find that I'm at home. I get to go wherever I want to go. I get to do what I want to do. Like that's what I love about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I get to go where I want to go mm. and I get to do it in other cities or countries wherever mm. and the fact that I can be with these men in the least like, gayest like, way. Like, sure, like, sure. It's calm. Oh, but thank you. Those who lose themselves, <laughs> trust me, because the alcohol is free, mm. the girls is free, everything is free. <laughs> you go there, you're yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's the trigger. Like, it's, it's free. It's something so, so, about the instruments and when you're on the stage, after the, start, after the show, a girl can like, misbehave. Uh, what what so, instrument was that the most? Because, you know, it used to be guitar. There's different I'm trying to get a tally. I'm trying to get a tally. So who's really, you know, working out there and tour? Who, 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 who's hitting the most things out? Like? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no,
This is the real Tell it. 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 This guy's a pastor's child, right? Bro, he's. We've all come from church. So yeah. what? It sounds super But what I'm saying is, yeah, like. <laughs> what are you? No, 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 no. Do you know what? Like, we've grown up with. We're all guardians as well, yeah? And. We know how hard that like, our parents have worked. Oh yeah, my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> you took no, it there. You did it. Are we still on the same side? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So we have individually a lot of family values. Yeah. So we know we're not gonna walk out there and display ourselves yeah. <laughs> to yeah. only come back for my mum to be like, "Oh, I heard when you went here, you did that." Then it's on the news. You know? Yeah. Ah, some let's go have some tower or anything. Behaved in no formal way. You literally I told you, the worst behavior. So no one's hitting that on on the No, no, no. But honestly, I'm honestly, <laughs> is yeah, probably we get a bit of alcohol. So no one's hitting that on on the No, no, no. But do you know what the reality is though? Like we're on a. Are you in a relationship? You didn't say that, bitch. No, the thing is, you didn't say that. We're like on a tour bus. Like when you're on a tour bus, it's like 19 beds on a one bus. Yeah. Like the realest of it. You can't do anything if you wanted to, innit? So it's like. I tell you, the beds are like this. This yeah. is this is the distance between. Yeah, <laughs> he's so now you know obviously you got the answer there. Really. Yeah, you lot like, 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 never heard me say. It was the most slipperiest sighting in the world. Hot you. Right, so moving on. Yeah, oh, thank you, Jesus. What's 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 next for us, man? What's happening next with you guys? <laughs> what's, that, what's the next lo- thing we're looking forward to? World domination, man. Um, like you guys, when we started off, like we were saying, um, original music. That's definitely going to be in a pipeline. I, mean, I don't think we've said that enough for people mm. to really know. To be honest with you, original music is something. These guys are all wicked producers as well. True. We go on MySpace. Each and every one of them has produced. Like, what's you guys? What's you? What's you? Yeah, I'm talking there. You go go on these guys' MySpace. I don't even know. Like people still use MySpace. Nah, they don't use it. But I'm just saying. Obviously, back in the day, you'd be surprised how much promo goes on MySpace nowadays. Yeah, because like it's mad. Trust me. MySpace is for different demographic. So where can so where can where can everyone find you? Instagrams, Twitters. You know what time it is. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, yeah, you can find us on Insta, SoundCloud, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Are we gonna get the uh, the app or the app? No, this is all right, guys. It's rehearsing. Okay. Yeah. 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 At composers. Mm. We were, what's right? C O M P O Z E R S. C O M. P O Z E R S. The C O M. You can't hear. It's hashtag. Hashtag hitting it on top. Hitting the gravel. Right, composers. It's been a pleasure. Love having you guys in the studio. It's been great. Straight no chaser. We out. Thank you.